I want to show you a very fast and very effective way for removing anything from a photo inside of Photoshop. So you could remove a person, for example, or multiple people. You could remove any object that you don't want in your image. I'm going to show you two examples in this video, and it's a really easy three-step process. Let's jump in. Let's start with this image here that I got from pixels.com, and I just unlocked this layer, and that's all I've done so far. All I need to do is choose the lasso tool right here, and with the lasso tool, this is the person I'm going to remove from this image. And all I have to do is just make a rough selection around this person. It does not have to be a perfect selection. In fact, it's better if it's not a perfect selection. And that's why I'm using the lasso tool instead of the subject selection tool. So now all I have to do, that was the first step. The second step is I need to right click or I'm on a Mac here. So I'm going to control click to get this menu. And I want to do content aware fill here. Now, this is the final result that you see over here. And you see that person just got cut out as soon as I press OK. But I want to point out this green section. Basically, what Photoshop is doing here is it's sampling your entire image to figure out what they should put where this person was before, like what's behind them here. So these green areas is the areas of sampling. If you don't get a great result for any reason, you could go ahead and deselect areas that it's sampling from. Like I definitely don't want anything from this person to show up over here. So I'm going to remove that over here. This is the green area. And it has an opacity slider here too. If you want to see it a little bit less here, you could reduce that and then reduce from your selection. I'm just clicking and reducing. And this is the results you're going to get. In the fill settings, there are some more advanced options that I usually don't use. This gets me close enough here. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And if I right click again, I could deselect. So the selection is gone. So this is before and this is after. And if you get any unwanted lines and things like that, I'm going to show you in a second how to remove those two with the next image. With this image, I want to remove this sign. This is really important, especially if you're doing commercial type of work that you don't want a company logo or sign in your image. So this is something I use this for all the time. Again, I'm going to select this layer, select the lasso tool, and I'm going to select around this. And I could even select the thing that is holding the sign over here too. I'm going to select the whole thing over here. And again, this time I'm going to be a little bit tighter with my selection. There we go. And then again, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to content aware fill here. And this is my final result over here based on what this is sampling from. So some of the things I could remove is I don't want it to sample from this section. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And I don't want it to sample from over here either. I'll go ahead and remove all this and it's fine tune this a little bit. I'm just going to press OK here. And I'm going to go ahead and right click and deselect. Now, if you get any results that you want to fine tune further, let me go ahead and just choose the zoom tool here. I want to zoom in a little bit to show you. What I typically do here is I choose the clone stamp tool. If I select that, what I could do to basically cover some of these imperfections is I could select holding down option. You get this cross hair here. I'll select. So it's sampling from here. And then I could go over here and replace that section. I could just paint over it. You see, it just made that section kind of disappear. I could, again, sample from this area. I'm holding down Option, clicking. It's sampled now, and I could paint with that sample. So I would take your time here to make sure anything that showed up that shouldn't, like a little bit of something is left over, you could go ahead and cover that up to make sure there's no sign of what was there before. I could option select here. I could cover this up. Option select here, cover this up. Now this is before, this is after. There's some imperfections here, but I'm doing this very quickly. But I would take my time to make sure the shading is right here by just cloning and copying from the right shade of dark and light to make sure this looks perfect. And that's all there is to it. And if you want to master Photoshop, I have a very complete course that covers pretty much everything you need to know to go from beginner to an advanced user of Photoshop. I'll put a link below in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.